one of the things that is quite popular from the Laravel world is the service container and dependency injection. So I'm just going to go through the Cake PHP style of dependency injection uh, with a couple of examples. The dependency injection documentation in the cookbook has a controller example. So I'm going to move all the code from a controller into a, a another class and defer from the controller to that class. Uh, and also there's a example here of using dependency injection in a cake command. So to do that uh, examples, those examples, I'm going to use my uh, Togonation cake PHP4 validation repository uh, which has got in it uh, firstly a cake command which uses a a utility class which I have just here which simply does a save to a database table of a post and we also have a add method which uh, adds a post to the database using a, a web form and that is all uh, just talking to a database table with a title, a body and a string. So just to have a look at that and to open it up and using the cake internal server. So you've just got a web form and if you try and save to it, um, it's validated and it, it won't allow it to save. So that's uh, the source code we're going to use. So to get started, uh, just firstly, so we've got our cake command. So it's add post. If you have a look at the command, it's add post command and, and that sort of translates to this on the command line. When you try and do it, so you go test title one and then test body one. So that simply does a, a add to the database and if it's the duplicate title um, or the body, um, it's validated. So let's look at dependency injection with regard to commands. Now the first thing that they uh, say you need to do is to create a public constructor and the constructor Uh, should also call the parent and what what we're doing because this command is currently newing up this utility class we're going to use that utility class to type hint so add post and we're going to call it variable add post and then we can assign that to a class property. And there we have that first part done. Now we need to, where we were referencing the, the newed up class, we now need to do that via the class property. So that's all that's needed in there. Now, we go to source and the application file and we scroll down until we find services and each um, service that we want to dependency inject we obviously need to tell the container about it so we need to add that service but for um, 
commands, you also have to use the uh, uh, supply the command as well. So it's two things you've got to add. So starting there, we go add and we use the add post command. So I'll add that class in. And then that class has an argument, which is the dependency that we want to inject called add post. Now, not only do we need to add it as an argument, but we need to add it itself so that it now can inject into the class when this class is called. So let's have a look at that. So that's working well. And now we can see that uh, that's a command that's got dependency injection enabled on it now. So the next thing that we can do is dependency injection with controllers. Now one of the challenges with controllers, and we'll just close that and we'll open the controller, is that it's the wrong controller. That's why it's not working. So one of the challenges with controllers in Cake is there's a lot of boilerplate code. And as you add more uh, detail and that sort of thing, it just gets longer and longer. So how do we go about creating a deferred service class and deferring everything in the controller. We can defer some of the functionality. If we have a look here, uh, all it's doing is injecting the service class and then doing some processing, uh, leaving most of the controller action code. But let's defer the entire thing to a different um, class. So we'll take all the action code and we now go into our source and we create a new folder and we call it services and we're going to call this add post um, it's actually going to create a problem let's call it create post so that it's not clashing with the uh, other utility program there and we want to create a namespace and we call that app services and then the class is create post now to defer uh, this all uh, we need to do a number of things. So we go create a, maybe we use an add function, make it the same as the controller action. But we want to pass in the controller. And then we copy and paste from the, the action the code here. And then this needs to be injected back into the action using a dependency index injection here and then once we got that injected we then need to say okay we need to inject the controller to defer everything back to the service class. Now at the moment if we try that it's just going to fail miserably so because we currently haven't uh, added it to the service container so we need to tell CakePHP about this service class create post and 
now it's ready to go. Now what it's done, it's now deferred to the method inside our service class but nothing's correct because it's uh, been moved. So let's now make it work within here. So every reference to this can now be changed for um, for controller. So let's do that. Now when we try and do that, so it's an improvement, but now we find that it's saying, okay, it's calling to a member function on null, which says there's no request available within that that pass uh, class would pass through. So we need to get hold of the request object. So we've got this, we need to replace this with a request and say controller and get request. So we go back to here and then we replace controller with request. And so every instance of this request um, we've replaced with our request grabbed from there. So now does it work is the question. So we hit add and then that's all that's required to uh, defer to another class all your all your functional code from cake PHP. Now within the controller uh, clearly many can, uh, actions have a method uh, sorry another parameter pass through. So we can then start to, to do that sort of thing by passing these bits of data through and um, still working, it hasn't blown up. So what we can do is not only get hold of the, the request parameters, but we can also get full access to all the request uh, items in. So we got try that. So there, and then if we want to um, get a hold of query parameters and everything, and it's all available in the deferred uh, class. So that is how to add dependency injection to Cake PHP and uh, use it to tidy up your code.